Okie dokie. Another Metal Monday with Brett. How you doing, Brett? I'm good, bud. Yourself? Doing good, man. I had a super busy, awesome weekend. It's hot. So hot. Yeah. It was melting. Dude, it was warm this weekend. Oh, it was hot. Like, I took me and the wife went to a concert. Took the kids to a drive-in movie. Yeah. It's a full weekend. It just And it made me think. We always talk about respect the hustle. Uh-huh. And I think some people don't quite understand our hustle message sometimes. Because, like, to me, hustling is not just coming to work. That's a big part of it. Also, like, when you have time with your family, get the most out of it. So I think they go hand in hand. So, because I think there's a, like there's this movement to get rid of that word hustle that I'm starting to see pop up in social media. And it's just people that associate it with just working all the time. I think you got to f- do both. It's a mindset. Like, yeah. hustle is like getting up and going to the gym in the morning and taking care of your own self. Like, mm-hmm. hustle is going to work and then getting the most out of what you do while you're at work. Hustle is like how you what you how you treat your life like how do you what do you do like you know like there's only 24 hours in the day you gotta you know you need to get some sleep but while you're up like what are you gonna do fuck around and like Mm -hmm. sit around or you're gonna like i mean go do stuff with your family go Mm -hmm. do stuff at home go do stuff for yourself like you know my wife and i joke like i mean our weekends like we don't there ain't no messing around like it was, and it's we get after it, you know. We you take that hustle mentality home. On everywhere the I go, yeah. like, and it's not a, like I'm not saying a guy has to work, you know, a hundred hours a week, mm-hmm. but I'm saying some weeks require it. Some weeks require it, and also <laughs> some weeks require maybe an extra day off to hustle a little harder over at home to do something yeah. special. So. But I mean, but it, it doesn't mean you just need to be sitting around like not doing shit unless mm-hmm. you just need a day to sit around and not do shit. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, ultimately, like, that's the way I look at it is, you know. It was, we we love the word hustle. I, I don't mess always, around with that. We're always going to use it, and I just had to get that. It was on my mind. People say hustle porn, right? I'm like, mm-hmm. that's some porn I can get behind. Like, I'm good <laughs> yeah. with that. Like, yeah. yeah. Yeah, of course I tell people to work hard. Of course. Like, mm-hmm. I tell my kids the same thing. I'm like, I don't care if you don't score 20 points in a game, but if I see you walking up and down the court and I'm the coach, your ass comes off the side. Mm-hmm. That means – yeah. You're not either you're tired and you need a break or you're not given the energy. You're not giving the team that the energy it deserves. Mm-hmm. So you shouldn't be out there. And I think that goes the same thing at work. Right. So call it what you want to use any word you want. But at the end of the day, it just means squeeze the most out of the day. 100 percent. OK. To the markets. Did, you, did we finally get all the info on the Ferris markets? Yes. It's pretty staunch sideways in our neck okay. of the woods about. Everywhere, you know, I don't see a you know a big movement any direction, and I kind of my gut says if we're not at the bottom, we're scraping along, right? We made a little yeah, little bit of movement, but it feels like we're kind of at the limit, to being nice. pushed around, you know. But I don't know. Like if, as soon as I say that, then you know, August down fifty, you know, like <laughs> I hope not. But it just feels like we're kind of at. It feels it. like the bottom like, here. Well, it just it feels like to me like we're at an inflection point, right? Mm-hmm. So with all the craziness going on in the market, and Chad Ellerbrock and I talked about it in our Bulls versus Bears podcast. There's all these crazy like uh, macroeconomic events going on. If some of them get solved, maybe we break to the positive side Mm -hmm. if something bad catastrophic happens we maybe probably break to the other side right but it feels like we're kind of at that inflection point so maybe i shouldn't say a bottom but just kind of at that point where we got the ability to break either way so if nothing really crazy happens we i think we just kind of meddle along if something big happens good or bad i think it breaks okay one way or the other and so that's kind of my so that being said you know, get yourself in a position to, you know, move scrap. How's everything else going on the copper, nickel, aluminum? What's going on well, over Well, copper's there? hanging around, you know. Mm-hmm. I mean, anytime you're around 380-ish mm-hmm. is a good is a good number. High 370s, 380. Um, you know, nickel seems to be kind of trying to hold its own. I mean, it's not great, but, um, you know, aluminum is soft. I mean, that, that, that one truly is, you know, softening up. But... You know, in general, PGMs, 
I'm hopeful we're trying maybe finding a bottom there, and we could see it. You know, it good, goes back to that. Maybe we see a break. You know. Yeah. I mean, rhodium's at five year lows. I mean, you've got like some real, you know, opportunity if a guy has the the bandwidth to you know sit around for a while and see what happens. But I don't know. I feel like in general, I'm still pretty optimistic about most metals that we deal with. Yeah. Aluminum being the one outlier that does feel soft right now. That one feels the softest. I mean, it feels like nickel's kind of found its new new area. You know, nine fifty to ten in that general area. Yeah. Which you know that was pushing more like eleven, twelve. Now you know not too long ago, and then copper. You know, we were. I kind of thought we were gonna make a run back to four, but like you said, like a three seventy, three eighty mark. Like, yeah. That, that, that's pretty we're lowering still. our standards. We were like there for a while. We're like, you know, four dollars is still pretty good. Now we're like, well, you know, mid three seventies, three eighty. And so it's like the lower your standards, raise your average type of program, I guess. But uh, rhodium is the the weirdest one to me. Like, yeah, and I think that's so just low. goes back to what we've discussed in the past. It's so thinly traded. Mm-hmm. It doesn't take much momentum on either side to push it, and so. You're going to get big pushes one way or the other. And right now we've been getting downward pressure, which just means that's just the way the way it is, you know. I mean, at some point, it you know, something, something will turn. It's just what it is and how, you know, I guess we'll, we'll see what that looks like. Okay, well, we will keep an eye on it. And everyone remember to hustle this week. Absolutely, man. Put in the work. And then what is I, one of my best, like one of the, the, the best things, quotes or whatever I've ever heard. I'm obviously a big quote guy, but, you know, don't complain about the, you know, the trophies you didn't get by the work because of the work you didn't put in. Like, oh, yeah. you know, like, it, and that's all back to hustle, right? Like, don't complain about what you don't have because you weren't willing to do the work to get it. And whether that's a good fam- family mm-hmm. life, like, if you don't put the work into your family, you're not going to have a good family life. It's just the way it is. Yeah. If you don't put the work into your work, into your effort into work, you're not going to have a good work life. Like, you got to put the effort in in both. Agreed. I mean, you have to put in the time. You got to be present and you got to do your best. And yep. If you do those things, good things will happen. It might take some time. There might be some bumps in the road. But I promise good things will happen if you do those things. Yes, sir. All right. Have a great you. week, everybody. See you next Monday.